Hi, I'm Tony Anscombe from AVG Technologies. Today I'd like to give you a quick overview of our AVG Family Center app. Firstly, we're going to install it on this device. I'm going to go to the Play Store. Uh, I'm going to search for the app. As you can see, the AVG Family Center app comes up here. Um, if I click on this, install the app, it's a really small app. Firstly, I've got to accept the permissions. Make sure you're happy with these uh, before you accept. I'm going to click on accept though. Here we are, it's downloaded. It's only just over six megabytes, so it shouldn't take long to install. Um, the app is designed to keep your kids safe on, uh, when you hand off either your tablet or Android phone, uh, whether you're in a car, a restaurant or whatever. We all do it as our, ki uh, yeah, our kids want to play Angry Birds or whatever apps are on the phone. We hand off the device, we just want to make sure they're safe and in a safe environment. First thing the app's going to do is ask me to accept the terms of service and privacy policy. I'm going to continue. There's some help screens here. You know, review those at your, your time. I'm going to go straight into the app. Now one thing, as I mentioned, this gives you a safe environment. So it needs the ability to be able to launch apps. So it is an app launcher, so you need to tell it that actually Family Center is going to be my app launcher. It won't affect you as an adult, but it will affect your kids when they run it. And we'll see that in just a moment. Uh, again, another help screen when you first go into the app. Yeah, I'm going to go straight into the app though and show you how to configure it. There's already a bunch of apps here that are family friendly, you can see here, and we're, we're going, to, I'm going to show you how you add more. So if we click on the wheel, um, swipe left to unlock. This is by default, we, we, we set to swipe. However, I'm going to show you how to change that as well in a moment. There are six things here where you can configure the app. Firstly, you can turn off Wi-Fi, data and Wi-Fi, or I could disable it. One reason you might want to disable it is to stop in-app purchases. A lot of game providers, etc., try to sell your kids things while they're playing games. Turn it off, and uh, you're re you're restricted from that. Or, or you know, there may be games that you're happy for Wi-Fi to be on for. You decide. Child lock. Like I said, as you saw, we had that simple swipe, which is the first the first one, which is selected. There's a press and hold where you can select a color, or we can put a pin code in. We recommend a pin code. Um, much harder for kids to uh, replicate if they're watching what you're doing. Um, the app selected, I can actually pull apps that are on my device. Uh, as you can see, these are all my normal apps. Uh, but I've got Angry Birds camera app and cut the, cut the rope uh, for free. They're selected, so they will appear in my family safe environment. There's also a couple of recommended apps here at the top as well. Um, the other things I can do is set the timer. So if I want to hand the device off to my child for 15, 30, 45 or 60 minutes, I can just toggle through and set that timer. I'm going to leave it off so that it's an infinity timer um, because we might be on a long journey or whatever and be happy for our kids to, to sit there and watch a video. I can block incoming calls so it doesn't interrupt my child. They can't answer the phone inadvertently uh, and talk to my boss, which would be a good thing. Uh, and also I can select some video channels. Here's some pre-selected ones and as you can see I've got Bob the Builder and Charlie and Lola etc already selected. So how does it look once I actually go into the child app? Well as you can see I've now got my three videos, I've got my three apps. Uh, I can't go out of here. If I'd set a pin code, if the only way to get out of here would be to put the pin code in, but if I try and get out now as a child, I've only set swipe so I can swipe left and as you can see it takes me out of the app back into my normal launcher and there we go my tablet is back and there's the family center app so next time i can just click on here i'm back in that family center environment i can hand this device off now to my child knowing that they can only get to these six things and they're off and running and they're in a safe environment please leave us feedback leave us reviews in the google play store yeah this is a beta we'd like to hear what you think about it uh, enjoy the experience